Hi everyone, I'm Jose Sadamenta, software engineer at Mulesoft, and this opportunity I will show you how to integrate your applications with LinkedIn using Mule Studio and CloudCloud. In order to run this demo, the requirements are a LinkedIn account, a LinkedIn application, you could create it on developers.linkedin.com, a CloudHub account, you can create it on cloudhub.io, and Mew Studio, it's possible to be downloaded from MuleSub.org. In this case, we'll use Mew Studio 332. So let's go into the application. The first thing we have to do is to download the connector from the update site. So we go to Solnius Software, we select the Cloud Connectors update site in the Studio, and we look for the LinkedIn connector. We just need to follow the complete installation instructions. And once the connector is installed, we have to restart the, the Mule Studio. Now we have to create our Mule project. So right click on the Package Explorer, in this case, New Mule Project. We enter the project name. And Studio will create the complete structure for the Mule project. So the first flow we have to add is the one in charge of the authentication. In this case, LinkedIn use auth. So we create, we drag and drop an HTTP inbound endpoint. We rename the path to authorize. And we have to drag and drop the LinkedIn connector. Double click on the connector. And we have to create a config reference. So click on the plus icon. We have to enter the API key and API secret. It depends on your application. In this case, I have my, my ones values. I will copy them. And I change the scope there. You could learn more about scopes in LinkedIn, applica in LinkedIn application documentation. So uh, now we have to configure the auth callback. This is automatically deployed by Mule. So I will enter the parameters. And that's all in this case. So we have our first flow. This is the authorized flow. And we will add a flow for getting the profile information. So I drag and drop an HTTP inbound and I configure the path, get profile. And I will drag and drop the LinkedIn connector. In this case we will use the same configuration we have created. And we will use the get profile by URL application. I enter the profile URL, in this case my LinkedIn profile. I change as public and I will create a list with the fields that I want to retrieve. In this case first name and last name. That's all for this application. The only thing to be added this uh, transformer for transforming the object to JSON. That's all. Let's create the next flow. The next flow we will post a share to LinkedIn. So we drag and drop an email endpoint. We configure the path. We drag and drop the connector. We use the same coffee reference and we change the operation to post share. So we have to enter these parameters, in this case comment text. We need an, an URL for the image. I will I will take one from from CloudHub logo. We enter the title the URL for the link, in this case I will link the 
the posture to muse of the door and we change the visibility to connections only so the the operation is done we will add a last flow for for updating the current status so I will change the path now look for the LinkedIn connector and drop we click on the connector and I will take the update current status we, we could enter an status here and that's all we have our application then the first thing we have to do is to call the authorized flow in this case so we'll run the application right click run as new application new starts deploy the application we can go to the browser and call the authorized flow we will enter the complete URL and have the URL here and we'll get the prompt from from LinkedIn for authorizing the application to access our our information, our profile information. And once we finish the dance, we will call the first operation, get profile in this case. I retrieve the profile information, first name, last name. I will post the share. And finally, I will update the status. That's it. So we could check the results on LinkedIn. And we get the, the share and the status. So that's all for the application. Oh, um, the next thing is to deploy the application to Cloud Hub. So let's go back to Studio. Um, basically, what we have to change here is the, the external port. So we, we will use a placeholder the, for the port called HTTP.port. This placeholder will be replaced automatically by Cloud Hub. So we have to change the port in, in every HTTP endpoint. But we also have to change the port and, and the information for the OAuth callback. So we will remove the remote port and for the local port use the same placeholder and we will use a different placeholder for the domain. In this case a full domain placeholder. So that's all. Now we have to replace the port in all the endpoints, in all the inbound endpoints. That's all. We save the information. We we'll compile. In this case, we don't have Java programs, and nothing to compile, and right click export and I will select the option to export to a deployable application select the path that's all so let's go to the Cloud Hub account here we have to go to upload your first your first application we don't have an application here we will enter the domain We will select our C file with the application. We we'll select our mule version, and that's all. So after clicking on Add Application, the application starts to deploy. We will see the the log information. everything there. It could take um, a few minutes 
to complete the, the deployment. In this case we will see a, a green flag in the top of the page in on the, the application name, LinkedIn test in this case. So the application has been deployed correctly, successfully. So let's check, let's go to the domain, let's call the authorized flow. We get the prompt, we allow access to the to our profile application to our profile information and we will call the get profile endpoint. And we get the information. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed um, this demo. For further information, please don't hesitate to contact us and visit our, web our website at mutesoft.org. Um, the, the LinkedIn the connector documentation at GitHub and our blogs at blogs.musoft.org. Hope you enjoyed the demo. Till the next time. Bye.